Hello, my name's Alice Driscoll, uh, and I'm going to talk about how we rebranded our club. The club started in 1931 as Bristol Yacht Club, and then amalgamated with Bristol Sailing Club. And by the 1950s, we'd moved 20 miles south to the newly built Cheddar Reservoir and became known as Bristol Corinthian Yacht Club. It's a great name and well recognised nationally as a club which has produced many national and international champions. For example, Jamie and Bettine Harris, Cadet World Champions, Steve Bullens, RS300 champion, and our current junior windsurfer, Guy Owens, is vying for a place in the next Junior Olympics. Zara Davis is the outright world women's nautical speed record holder, and our Team 15 youngsters, Expert Animals, are regular winners of the Team 15 Windsurfing Championships. So why do we feel the need to rebrand? Like many clubs, our membership, which was restricted to dinghy sailors and windsurfers, was dwindling. Despite having over 65 acres of clear and clean water, our participation was decreasing and our age profile increasing. But in 2017, after some lobbying, our landlords, Bristol Water, gave us the green light to, stand, to allow stand-up paddleboarding and canoeing and kayaking on the reservoir. This was great news and it offered us an opportunity to engage with a new type of member. It tied in with the Futures Project, which was research from British Marine and the RYA about the next generation of water sports participants. And this highlighted activities such as stand-up paddleboarding and kayaking as being easy to access, quick and affordable. We used this research to help us understand what kind of participants we could attract, for example, the Instagram generation and social challenger, and what would appeal to them. Members of the club trained as SUP instructors, and we got a Sport England grant, which we match funded to buy SUPs and kayaks to enable us to offer taster sessions and for club members to use. We went on an active marketing campaign, making the most of events like Push the Boat Out. Initially, all of this gave a boost to club members who loved using the SUPs and kayaks in no-wind days, and we saw an increase in families at the club, the youngsters enjoying paddle sports close to the shore, while the experienced sailors or hardcore windsurfers were out racing. But it didn't massively help with attracting new members. So we started a bit of a PR campaign locally and began to realise what the problem could be. So the conversation with the features editor of the local newspaper was, I'm from Bristol Corinthian Yacht Club. Uh, no, no, we're not in Bristol. And, and actually, no, we don't sell yachts. And we soon realised that the same applied to the local communities around the reservoir. Despite being in the middle of two thriving towns, we weren't attracting locals. We were received as being those yachties and not being very welcoming or easy to join. And this was exactly what we've been highlighted in the Futures Report. And now with our pay and play access to SUPs and kayaks, as well as our usual and popular dinghy and windsurfing courses and starter sessions, this was exactly what we wanted to avoid. We needed to make the most of our footfall, which literally goes straight past our door. So we worked with a branding expert in exchange for a year's membership and came up with the branding Cheddar Water Sports. It does what it says on the tin. We offer water sports at Cheddar Reservoir. But with such longevity and passion and, and heritage attached to Bristol Corinthian Yacht Club, we didn't really want to entirely lose that name either. So the way we do it is we have Cheddar Water Sports as the umbrella brand, and we use BCYC at Cheddar Water Sports as our sailing group. So you can see here how we've amalgamated the logos to, to combine Cheddar Water Sports with our Bristol Corinthian traditional logo. And the aim is that if we wanted to, we could do the same thing, for example, our Axbridge animals. So we could have Axbridge animals at Cheddar Water Sports. And we could also extend at some point to have specialist SUP or kayak groups as well. So on the right, you can see how we've used the Cheddar Water Sports as the umbrella brand and with our RYA endorsements and our BCYC logo below that. So some of the initiatives that we um, use to make this happen, Actually, agreeing the brand name was surprisingly easy, particularly as we hadn't upset at least 50% of the club by, by maintaining the BCYC brand as well. So the rebranding, along with the new water sports activities and the fact that Bristol Water gave us access seven days a week now through a buddy system, all of this gave us a new boost in energy and enthusiasm, which revitalised our general committee and the management structure at the club. I will be quite honest here, we had been pretty much at a crisis point with no one stepping forward to be on the general committee and the club at one point potentially facing closure. The opportunity to change and adapt was literally a lifeline. So some of the things we did was we moved from an outdated bespoke website, which only one person really knew how to program, 
to a standardised off-the-shelf solution. We did a lot of research and we chose Sony Club Manager. Whilst it still has its anomalies, it is much easier to have a group of people who are able to use it, update it, add pages, etc. And we get support from Jeremy Pocock and other clubs that use Sailing Club Manager. So this has enabled us to be really agile with our communications. We can quickly update news and images. We can access membership info. We can run renewals. We can manage our duties. We also set up new social media pages, which combine the new branding and use Sailing Club Manager to send out a monthly email newsletter. This goes to members, but more importantly, it also goes to non-members. So anyone who takes part in any event, such as a taster session, is invited to tick a box to go onto our mailing list. And this enables us to keep in touch with them and hopefully entice them into, into taking part in other events and activities. One of the best things that's come out of the COVID situation has been to speed up the adoption of WhatsApp as a primary way for members to communicate with each other and also for intercommittee communication. We've become much more reliant on our Facebook pages and our Instagram to communicate during this time. And we've also used these to join in with local groups on social media. Other technologies that we've adopted include Eventbrite for all our event bookings and for Eyes et al for taking payments. We've really made an effort to automate what we do and to build systems and processes that can easily be passed between people, ensuring that we do not have over-reliance on any single person. And above all, the new branding has given us an opportunity to engage with our local communities. Making a change gives you news. Winning the grant by the SUPs and kayaks, getting qualified to teach, offering taster sessions and be super ready to ride courses, our extended opening hours. All of this gave us news that we could share with our local communities. And we did this through PR and promotion and getting in touch with the local easier, local press, I have to say, is much easier now saying, hi, I'm from Treader Water Sports. Let me tell you about. It's also enabled us to join in with local social media conversations and we've produced posters for our courses and events which we put up around the local area. For example, at the local swimming pool, sports club, in other schools, medical centres, etc. A good example of how this word of mouth was also spread was when one of our members met a lady doing stand-up paddleboarding at Western Supermare Beach. They got chatting and he told her about how we can now do SUP at, at Cheddar Reservoir. Turned out that she was a yoga teacher looking to offer water SUP classes locally. So she came to us and she now does a regular Sunday evening SUP yoga class on the reservoir. It's another great PR story that probably wouldn't have started if he introduced himself as somebody from Bristol Corinthian Yacht Club. So what's been the impact? It's been a lot of work, but it's been fun and it's been engaging as it's been something new and that's always good. We've seen a change in profile at the club. We've got new people and younger people more families who are more actively engaged with us. We've seen an increase in, in locally based members, rather than those who just came to us from afar because they knew we had great water facilities for dinghy sailing and windsurfing. Other innovations such as our online buddy form means that despite the previous COVID restrictions, we've seen usage up by around 24% and we had four, over 440 SUP and kayak taster sessions run just in August and September alone. We're seeing our membership starting to increase. Yes, like all clubs, we still have churn, but for the last three years, we've attracted 46 new memberships each year and our retention rate is around 70%. And we've had new people step forward to get involved with the running of the club as well. And there's lots of enthusiasm for change. Just as an example, one member with her teenage daughters really wanted to get the SUP and kayak taster sessions running. So they got themselves qualified as instructors and in the last few weeks of this summer, we saw over 500 people doing one hour taster sessions. Many of these are potential members. And have there been issues? One thing we're totally agreed on is that we are one club. Whilst having Cheddar Water Sports is a great umbrella brand, at this stage, we really do not want to hive off with any separate membership options. For example, a cheaper membership or no requirement to do duties. If for example, you're just a SUP member. We see offering SUP and kayaking as a pathway into the water sports and, and the, we offer the opportunity for you to join to do that, but so much more. And we've already seen some members join the suppers and then do sailing courses and start doing dinghy sailing or windsurfing as well. I hope this has given you a little bit of an insight into how and why we rebranded our club. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me um, on my email, which is vicecommodore at bcyc.org. UK. 
Thanks very much.